Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by for a visit. I have a journal flip to share with you today. This is a little uh, nature journal. I'm trying to think of what to call it. I might call it Nature's Surprise. And it is small. It is seven inches tall, four inches wide. It has 17 pages, so folded in half, front and back, gives you 68 pages in this single signature journal. And the fabric on the cover is fabric that I have dyed. I've got a couple leaf charms here. And these are some leaf prints um, uh, from one of my eco prints that has uh, one of my eco dyes, it is a print in my shop, and I have cut them apart and waxed them. And you've got some little, I'm really close trying to be able to get it close so you can see everything. And sorry, hopefully we can make this work. So you've got some charms on the side. It's got a hitch fastener. And here we go. Uh, let's see, this is a little pocket here. This is my letter from the bookmaker, and I put this in all of my journals, and it just talks about the type of handmade journals that you might have and what you can do with it, because sometimes we gift these to people that aren't quite sure what to do with this sort of thing. And the letter from the bookmaker is available on my website, poppiness.com. I'll put a link to that down in the description, and you can download that for free and use it in your own stuff. Just don't resell it as your own. And then there's a lot of these little things through the, out the journal, just simple little writing spaces. This is not a frou-frou journal. This is more of a um, nature surprise, back to nature kind of journal. So you've got a little tuck spot there. And it's got lots of quotes, but it also has a lot of writing space. It, it is a chunky monkey. Some of my leaf impression paper. And so you got a lot of coffee dyed papers and then some little stenciling of bits of ferns throughout. So you've got more writing space here with the flip outs. And then lots of little quotes about nature throughout the book. You'll have to pause if you want to read all the quotes. Otherwise, I think this would be a really long journal uh, flip through because there are a lot of quotes. And this is an original um, eco print. This is not a copy. This is one of my originals. So I like giving, and this is from my Forest Ferns kit. Lots of uh, little tuck spot or flip outs like this. It's one of my favorite things to do. Some of my leaf impressions. With some handmade paper. And again, this is just another one of those little um, folded pieces of coffee dyed paper so you've got some more writing space and then you've got your little leaf charm here. Stencils. This is parchment paper that um, I think I did some distress stains on it. It was probably like a bottom paper when I was doing some other distress stains and that's what's left. A little one of the paper ruffles. I love this one. More space. This is another um, part of an original eco print, a little belly band. So you've got another one of these little writing bits, and then you've got a little journaling card there. This is one of the playing cards covered with sheer fat book text and sheer fabric. I think I did a video on that. And again, and I love leaving little threads in these wherever I can. I just like that little random touch that it gives. Some more leaf impressions, some yarrow. And you've got, whoops, I need to fix that so it doesn't get full. You've got a little tuck spot there and a tag and a journaling card. And you've got a little flip out here with a hummingbird bit from a napkin um, that has been decoupaged onto some book text. This is a little flip up here, so you've got more writing spot here. And you've got one of the little writing things, and then you've got a tag. 
or writing on, journaling card, whatever you want to call it. Lots of the uh, leaf impressions here. This is one of the little envelopes you can fold up. As I've got a video on this too, so you've got a little journaling spot here. You can fold it up and it looks like a little envelope. And you've got another. This one's a tree charm. This again is one of my original eco prints, not a not a copy. And here's your center signature. So see, it's it's pretty fluffy, but you've got lots of room to write, stenciling, little quote. And this is some of my um, tracing paper that's been dyed. Right there. So even though it's small and it'll fit great in your purse or case, you've still got a lot of room that you can write in here. There's lots of these little flip outs. And you've got a little tag here. This is one of my jelly prints. This is for my dragonfly kit. And then you've got a tag that's backed with one of my ego prints. This is another one of my waxed leaves that have been cut out from an eco print and some of my dyed fabric. The other side of the original eco print. And so here you have another journaling card with a little quote on it and then another one of those little envelopes that flips up from a writing space. And then you have more writing space here when you flip this up. So I love these little corner flips. They just give you so much room to add some little hidden gems of writing. Some more of the distress sprays. This is from my fern kit. That makes a nice little flip out there. And all these quotes are from my nature quotes um, that are in my shop. And this is the other end of the original eco print. And so you've got another little jelly print. It's got a little bit of a leaf impression on it there. Another one of the little writing spaces. And then this is another little journaling card. It's got a um, jelly print on it. And then another one of these little envelopes. So not heavily embellished, but like I said, lots of room to write. Here's another leaf charm. And these are the little tiny Tim Holtz paper clips. And this is me. My wish is to stay always like this, living quietly in a corner of nature. Or maybe that's what I should call it, a corner of nature. And then you have another little pocket here with a tag and some more writing space. So there you have it. Oh, I, like, I think I'm going to, oh, and in the middle here, you do have a bookmark. I forgot to show you that. Let's see. So here you've got a bookmark so you can move that around wherever you want. A corner of nature. I think that's what I will call this one, a corner of nature. So um, I will get the listing stuff together and get this in my shop soon, unless somebody buys it before it gets in my shop. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to visit with me, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.